We saw it with the marathon, and it's happening again with soccer. The road to Paris goes through Orlando. Yes, it does. Well, she's <laughs> Kristen Lago stopped by a recent training camp where hopefuls are looking to land a spot on Team USA. The Olympics is something that, you know, everyone wants to be a part of, every, every young athlete. It's a dream many soccer players share, but one not everyone will realize. Something that I've wanted, you know, since I was a young kid, you know, playing soccer growing up, watching the national team at the World Cup and, and all the tournaments they play. The chance to play for the U.S. men's national team. The opportunity to wear the letters USA on your chest. I mean, uh, anytime you can put on the USA uniform and compete for them is definitely a huge, uh, it means a lot. For Duncan McGuire, though, it's no longer just a dream. It's quickly becoming a reality. Robert Taylor gets back in. Falls for McGuire through the legs of Canada. And in. Duncan McGuire. The striker made headlines in his first year with the MLS last season. A 15-goal campaign that led him here, right back home in Orlando. But this time at the senior camp for Team USA. You know, good to be back at the home where I had a great season last year and uh, grew as a player. And this is kind of the place where it all began for me, the, the journey. So it's definitely good to be back. And uh, yeah, no complaints about being back in Orlando. McGuire in contention to be part of the 2024 Olympic team. Camps and friendlies like these, a chance for Greg Bearhalter to evaluate the young talent. I think giving guys opportunities is important. And then also, um, as we build towards the Olympics, making sure that we have our eyes on, you know, our talented group of young players. And while the World Cup is really described as the pinnacle at the international soccer stage, the Olympics still an important step for the overall development of the U.S. men's national team. You get to play against the world's best. And then you have another group of players that, um, a younger group of players that gets to also compete in an international tournament. And anytime you can gain experience in these international uh, tournaments, it's valuable. It'll be a big return to the Olympic stage for Team USA. They haven't qualified in over a decade. I think it's more about just representation. We always want, we, you know, we think we're strong enough that we should be representing um, CONCACAF in the Olympics every time it comes around. McGuire hoping to play a large part of that. His focus clear leading on field for both club and country. So just to get that first call up is, it means the world to me and it's, I'm going to take it as, as quickly as I can and try and leave a good impression on the coaches. The journey to Paris now underway. Kristen Longo, Flesh 2 Sports. The roster will be finalized sometime in June. Olympic organizers just announced the group for the group stage of the Games. The U.S. is in Group 3 with Egypt, Mali, and a yet-to-qualify country from Asia.